It is the season of all things spooky and scary. And what better day than Halloween to try to get close to the spiritual world. And one local town has become well known for ghost sightings. So, of course, we sent our Crack 3 News paranormal investigators to check that out. And by that, I mean we sent out Lindsay Buckingham and Mike Polk to Lake County to see what would happen and what could go wrong. Charming Willoughby, Ohio. Known for its quaint downtown, folksy charm, and for being home to one of the most notoriously haunted places on Earth. Ghost sightings at the Willoughby Coal and Supply Building go back decades. So two brave three newsers decided to get into the spirit of the season by exploring the local landmark for themselves. Were we scared of what we might encounter? I am, um... Not a big believer in things like ghosts. I don't know if we're going to see a ghost. I really don't know if I believe in it. Lindsay, on the other hand, real good chance she's going to freak out the whole time. Probably about 100% chance. He shared with me privately three times on the way here that, in fact, he is scared. Our spiritual tour guides, Teresa and Kathy, shared with us some of the creepy history of the place. This place feels pretty haunted, to be yes. honest. One of the owners back in the 1940s who actually passed away here at Willoughby Hall. We believe he was thrown out that third story window. Kathy and Teresa then offered to summon a spirit using a special recorder said to pick up ghostly noises. We would like any spirits that are with us right now to please come forward and make themselves known. Do you have a message for Mike that you'd like to give him? We then listened back to hear what we'd captured. Do you have a message for Mike that you'd like to give him? Ooh. Do you say live your best life, bro? Not quite. Oh. I think it said, I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, it's either I know what you're Ghost or not, there was something on that tape. The two of us decided to walk through the building alone to see if the spirits would speak to us. Let's do this. All right. I feel like you invite a lot of ghosts in when you're bringing in this many antiques. We even tried to rouse a four-legged ghost. Yukon. Yukon, your boy. Is that Shadow Man? That's just my shadow. Hold on. You know, that really scared me. That legitimately now, scared me. Third floor, last spot. Waiting to hear some ghosts. Ah! Just kidding. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. That was so easy. Why wasn't I doing that the whole time? All right. <laughs> that was so mean. <laughs> so we survived our first ghost walk, a frightful bonding experience or both. So that was interesting. It was a good night. Going in, I was a little bit freaked out. And then I met Kathy and Teresa, very educated women. They kind of expanded my horizons a little bit. I'm not leaving any more of a believer in the paranormal than I arrived, but that doesn't mean I didn't have a nice time. Lindsay was a scared child for quite some time in there. Embarrassing at points. I'm just glad that I could be there for Mike. He was really struggling and I was there to kind of hold his hand. He whispered to me privately. <laughs> None of that happened. It's over. It's over!